A good evening. No, I'm not saying. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. And today, we're making it a, a, a sea serpent. serpent. That's right. Uh, a you know, while back, a while back, I saw uh, DM Scotty's video on making a purple worm, so I made one, and it got me thinking. And this was this was quite a while ago. Years, a year, a year. Over a year. It was ago. whenever yeah. he up. It was like what a month it, after he made the video. I know it was that his video is actually pretty old, but oh. it got me. It got me thinking that I could easily make a sea oh. serpent, and and so I made the base of this over a year ago, and it's sad. It, it's my, almost around a year ago. On my table my of knowledge. shame, and actually putting, no, it didn't sit on our table of shame. Well, one of our tables of shame. It sat behind our TV. Yeah, so we decided when we were going to do the uh, nautical months for this summer that we would break this out and finish it up. And we've already started doing the scale work on it. If you can see it, it's really turning out pretty sh pretty sharp. Ha uh, ha, funny, because the... Get yeah. it, cause don't, don't mix them up. And yeah, the little guy is going to be perfect. putting some scales on while I do some other stuff. Um, we want to show you the eyes. Yes, the eyes. We got these eyes, the idea for the eyes, from Wylock. He recently redid his Beholder video. And I saw how he did it, and so I quickly nabbed up uh, a, a bag of 200 of these eyes. I think it's 200 uh, off Amazon, and I don't have the link or, or what have you. But and if you, you go, can put the link in. But if you if go, you to, know how to do that. If you go check out uh, uh, Wylock's new and improved Beholder video, he's got the link in there for you. Um, mm, we could link that video. We could link both videos actually. If you want to. In, in making the scales. Um, this is the template because in case I need to make more scales, which I think we probably will, uh, you're going to want to uh, keep an extra behind. And it's really just a simple alternating so you make, pattern. You should make the first one, then trace it and make the template, then make the... This is here's, here's the first the first template. A. And then you'll overlap B and then continue it until you get to the top or and you we would be selling these except uh we don't we don't <laughs> we can't bother and also they're extremely easy to make yeah uh, if you want uh I'll, I'll let the camera get a nice it, it's basically uh i did it on graph paper and then i traced the graph paper on the cardboard yeah, these are about paper. two centimeter cubes right here you probably should have made the template on graph paper uh, but it, 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 once you've made the, the first graph paper design, uh, the ink or pencil or whatever, start to really uh, uh, make it different and not perfect so that I just kept the cardboard example. Also made one of the chest plate, uh, as you can see those right here. Uh, and we numbered everything, but we got those a little bit out of order. But after you've put on enough scales, you can then put on another one of these and these also another help chest plates. another chest plate and it, it, these chest plates actually help hold the scales with our connection point right here so little guy's going to show you how he did that there's also one thing the head i wanted to make it a bit different um the, than, than a regular yeah i both i wanted to i wanted i well, for I wanted the he said he wanted it to have teeth and not just a beak because I wasn't really just gonna have like an armored beak like thing similar to like a pufferfish beak or uh, octopus or squid beak, but he wanted teeth so I added these things which that's where he's gonna put teeth. the teeth. Yeah, and these and are those like will be to, just toothpicks like the, yeah. the purple worm. These are just gonna be to like I don't know break through a ship or something because yeah, like turtle shell or anything like that. that yeah, would, something that that's really hard because a sea serpent can't really. That do much damage to your ship with its teeth. The body, it can, but like we much. said in the announcement Not video, is just toilet paper tubes uh, nested in one another. And I'm actually going to be using these ones to make the loop that is so common with sea serpent sightings. And I'll be mounting these is it three. Probably they would swim like that. Right, but these will be mounted on this. It does are just kind of waste. You can, make, you know, he wanted the shark to be like this, but. We realized that it wouldn't really work. And then the tail is one of the smaller tubes from a roll of aluminum foil, I think, and there, everything's just mounted on foam board. And I wish I would have mounted that on foam board, but uh, not a big deal. It did warp, and all you have to do to fix the warping it's is just... just warp it again. Yeah, just get it wet, 
and then put some rocks on it. So and if it's it warped, you just warp it back? Yeah, you just get it wet, throw some rocks on it, leave it in the sun, you come back and it'll be fine. I don't want to, I don't want to tear it off and put it on foam board it's, it's not really necessary yeah so we will, what we did uh, is well, he'll show you that part we'll also be using the, the hot glue water effects to make splashes around the the ten, uh, not tentacle but the, the the segments of the body so it looks like it's splashing through the water and we might even do a video on how we do our our splash effects because it is kind of interesting and helpful to know how yeah, to do it i guess if you want that um, you want a comment or you want something. yeah yeah if, if you guys want to know how we actually do the water effects let us know and we'll, we'll make like a quick 10 minute video because it's not really a big deal but you know start gl putting One, the glue on those oh yeah we're using glue sticks because we don't want anything to warp if we, you use a, a wet glue like white glue uh the, the the we're using really thin cardboard it's not from uh, uh like cereal packets or anything like that that a lot of people use but you just cover the back with the Are you saying you've been saving this? Yeah, I've been saving this. Because you can't get the... I, I wanted something really thin and flexible because of this process. And I right assume also you can't... Um, I assume it's also slightly... Be Don't worry about that. We'll get that later. Because you can't... Um, Uh, is this is, is this you need good? to pull, you know, if, if it looks good, and then I'll get you the super glue and you can. So it's kind of hard to tell without the other one on top of it. Yeah, but if the bottom one lines up with the top. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Here's your super glue to fasten it in the front, and over here I made all I hope all of the armored chest pieces, and they they actually get larger as it goes up, uh, just because. Um, I figured the head portion uh, is going to be a little bit lo longer than the, the body that's in the water. But I, I labeled them A, a through Z so that you know which you know, uh, in something... pro progress they go up. And this is the, the larger one is at the very top. Something that really annoys me is um, something we've talked about before, but... Um, Ah, that burns. A lot. Not that much, but yeah. Um, for some reason, when uh, super glue gets in contact with uh, toilet paper napkins, it starts to burn. Or baby wipes. Yeah, there's something in the process. Yeah. It, we, with baby wipes, it's even worse because you can actually see it steaming. Or smoking or some even sort of... Smoking is probably more accurate to what's happening. Okay, is this A? Yep. Also, make sure to label them, and label them actually good, because this person that uh, is sitting next to me, I don't know why I said person, I don't know why I just said, but whatever. Uh, he is, um... My handwriting's tragic, is what he's trying to say. Folks. No, what I'm trying to say, um, if I said that, then I'd be, uh, well, I'd be correct, but... <laughs> um, I, I would be correct, yes, but... Uh, however, mine is still... Bad, if not worse. So. Yeah, we won't even go there. No. Oh, there's an issue. See how you made it a bit thicker here? Makes it almost impossible for it to wrap around. Okay, well, the, the chest plate will cover that. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot, so I'll just not have it wrap if around. It doesn't, if it doesn't connect perfectly. Yeah, if it doesn't wrap around fully, then yeah. Just, I guess we can just. Fudge it. Now I'm going to be working on the, the um, body segments right here real quick, just just to knock it out. If he needs my help, I will give my hand. Oh, you know what? I should have done that first. I always, always, always flip my tape over because I absolutely hate trying to pull the tape off when it's completely stuck to the roll. If you make this little flap, it make you, you can just pull it and you're, you're good to go. Yeah, I absolutely. Kind of one of my pet peeves, I just have always not liked having to fight with the tape. When I was working as a painter, 
Uh, I learned that trick when painting houses and stuff when you got to mask things up and you're spending 10 minutes trying to find the end of the tape that just, just doesn't go over with the boss. Which was me. What? <laughs> I was the boss and I didn't like having to fight with my rolls of tape so I taught everybody on my team to not have to do that. Because it's a huge, huge waste of time. Because you can end up doing that, you know, 50 times in a day. Oh. When you're taping up windows and doors and stuff. Oh, right? this might be a problem. It looks like, is it the wrong letter? No, it's not the wrong letter. It's that you, you probably should have made the ones, like one that just specifically to go... In that or, one spot? Yeah. Because Again, the, the, the chest plate, I think, will, will cover you. Cover no, it's not, it's not that. No, The chest plate isn't going to cover that part. I'm talking about the back. Oh, well, we, we haven't decided if we're going to do any back design, like frills. That's still not going to cover the sides. You think? The, uh, uh, the frills going down here aren't going to cover this. They're not going to cover this or this. I'm not seeing what you're talking about. Is it because of the, that gap there? This, yes. Okay, we'll just try to bend it. Yeah, just, the next one. Just this and, specific area is going to look worse than all the other areas. Well, we'll see. You know, I still don't like how it's burning. Uh, it's kind of annoying. It's also annoying how nothing's stuck. Yeah, this just reminds me why I don't like working with... Well, I, I'm okay with working with super glue. I just don't like doing this because it's very hard. So unstick yourself from it? That's, yes. That's why you got to hold the area in front of the, the, the glue, like, like right here. Yeah, but I shouldn't hold this because then this is just going to peel off. It's not going to work. Well, you can always glue that down when you put the chest plate. And then nothing. Stop. Nothing. Nothing. Solved. But okay. Yeah, so uh, try to make sure everything's even, especially around the joints, because in certain areas, mainly around the joints, that's going to be nearly impossible. Chew it. <sighs> Thought he was trying to chew the cap. <laughs> Still don't know if he was. He might have. But I heard it, I heard it rolling around. Yeah, so make sure to um, either when keep it even. Yeah, when you're doing these Make joints, sure it's like as even as possible. But yeah. if that's impossible, then just make a few, make like one or two. That are larger? That are larger and specifically designed just to fit that one specific area. I didn't think it was that much of a. No, it is awful. It, yeah, it's bad. We can always bend it in after you get this one on. We can just bend it in a little. Yeah, but you see all that? See all that space? Mm hmm Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's bad. I almost want to just dump a bunch of super glue in there. You don't do that. No, but... Now, why does super glue seem to go through sometimes? Like, bleed through? Uh, because that cardboard is really thin and really porous. You want me to help you do that part? Yeah. Uh, to to because I can bend that in. Hold on, hold on. Watch. Okay. Mm -hmm. These two are stuck together for some reason. Yeah, but you don't know. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. No, I think the other one behind you is. I'm having that same problem. No, well, because. Yeah, it is. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't panic. Give me a little bit more glue here, too. Super, super glue? No. Not white glue? Yeah. Good. Glue stick. Same thing. The glue is white. It's, yeah, good. It's not. 
Okay, what so, color is this? It's white, but don't be worried about that. Okay, I was gonna... I'm just gonna get a little bit okay. in there, just so that it'll help while I'm trying to force it. Okay. I'll get it lined up in the back. I'll pour the Super Bowl? Yeah, but I just want to make sure that the, the scales are really, really tight and, and pulling toward the front. Grab that one right there. Yeah, but I don't like this. Oh, that little gap? Okay. Well, if I didn't see that, thank you for showing me that. Whoops, whoops, no. It's not. It, it got somehow unlined up. Because you really have to have these scales in the right pattern or it ruins the whole effect and they don't really look like scales anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my finger unstuck here too. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're having that problem you didn't like with the hole. So let's just make it really tight. Yeah, because scales don't have holes in them. Yeah, it, it, it keeps doing that. So let's get it down here. Because we can just gradually increase the tension and fix it as it goes up. My hands are still stuck, but just get that part glued in. We'll do that last. All right, that's... All right, I'm going to be in the video. Let me see if I can pull my fingers off. I don't think I can pull mine off. You know, I've got to the point where I don't really care about the super glue going and getting on my hands. Good. But what still bothers me, and I don't think will ever not bother me, is when my when I get stuck to something, yeah. them going together. Move and, your fingers. I need to see what's going on here. And while yeah, trying to pull my good. finger it's off good. of it, I end up destroying what I just made. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, I don't think anyone likes that, but it's just really irritating for me. Okay, these scales really bunched up, but. We can fix it as we go. I'll put a little glue right there so it connects. Be Not too much because it's going to run down. Because once it gets to the part where it's all even and flat, it's fine. It's easy. Yeah, and the, 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 but whenever it's the paint job will also disguise some of that. Yeah. And we're ready to go to the next one. Oh, so by the way, pro tip, uh, nail polish remover doesn't taste very good. <laughs> So yeah, if you're gonna do that, then uh, make sure that whenever you're gonna eat, uh, wash your hands a lot more than you usually would. Yeah. Let's or just wait. <laughs> grab a, I uh, think we need an A piece. Okay. Don't know why those uh, B piece stuck there. Also, we're using the rougher side of the cardboard, not the glossed and smooth side. Because when we're, we're gonna spray this with uh, spray paint to and give it a black And depending on bomb. what spray we use, It'll it, most likely, A, probably get, it'll probably lose the texture or gain the texture no matter what, depending on what spray you use and what paint you use. Also, if you use, if you use, uh, yeah, I had it backwards. If you use uh, the smooth side, it will pool and run. Mean, oh, yeah, smooth side. If you use the smooth side of the cardboard, it will pool and run. Off the cardboard because it doesn't have anything to stick to. Right. Exactly. How little it has to stick to is so small that it doesn't really. The, what little it's actually so how little. Um, hey, watch, watch where I'm lining it up in the front because you have to take control over that part and I hold the back in place. It's not the. It's not. Like turn up and turn up. No, it's not that. It's actually really bad. Really, I thought I had it lined up. No, it was like this. Oh, okay. Just a little. Okay, I think we're getting to the point where it's actually starting to get... Back to normal. Yeah, almost. Over that little hump. Yeah, I should have uh, thought about that when I was cutting these. I should have made a couple that were extra large. That look good? Know, for its fat belly, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just, we want, remember, we need that connection point in the front. Oh, okay. Because that's where the chest plate will hide the letters A and B. Remember? Okay, uh, let me move it down just a bit. Okay, tell me if you think that looks good. That looks good. Let me just hold it in place for you while you do the super glue. Okay, it's in place? Yeah, it's in place. It looks good. I'm going to get myself out of the way. 
Okay, but yeah, that looks fine. And it's even hard to actually see the mess up. You know, I would almost recommend you doing the plates as the very last thing, so that you don't get a uh, super glue getting on them. But again, that's barely an issue. Yeah, we were just uh, experimenting with that again. It's kind of a non-issue. Yeah. We can uh, go. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't think anything. Okay, let's uh, go a couple more layers up and then call Wait. it a night. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that that yeah. I'm sure they know how to take. Yeah, you you should. I I can continue doing with this. I'm at the point where I don't need help. You can. You should probably uh, try to finish that so they, so that there's no chance that someone will, like, miss a step that you didn't show. Yeah, it's just so that there's, there's no step tubes. that you didn't show. Mm -hmm. I think that you're probably done, but just in case, I'd rather be safe inside. Yeah, it's just you just gotta kind of gently crush it until it's in the right shape you want without making a huge indentation. See, it's it's, it's only a slight curve. Want to carefully bend it until it starts looking, and then, as you notice, with DM Scotty's uh, build, we use uh, wet toilet paper that's been soaked in uh, white glue and water to wrap it all around so that the glues that. and things like that have something to stick onto. That's that's. It looks okay, but it looks like it could be tighter. Okay. Uh, I think this is good. Well, the only issue I see, which is with the getting super glue on my hands, which is only just noticed, I just noticed it now, is that it makes it kind of harder to, like, do things sometimes. Yeah, you lose uh, sensitivity of your fingertips. Yeah, the same reason why you shouldn't do things like this with gloves on. Yeah, because they... Uh, some things you you should use gloves for. Obviously, this, this but not isn't, this. This is not. This is definitely not. Should use them. gloves when your hands could possibly get something happen to them. Yeah, something bad. Yeah. When you, when you need to protect them, but in, when that's not the case, then you might as well not wear them because they make your hands. Uh, if the gloves are too big, then the sensitivity of your hands is even worse. And you do, you do need to... Oh, by the way, just in case you notice, the reason why there's a one there is just because first he wanted to, like, track which ones... Yeah, I, need, I needed to make, uh, I think it was 18 of each piece, and, and that might still not be enough with, you know, with, yeah, with but micro I think adjustments. This, but I actually think that, because this is way thicker than it got down here. There is no way... Actually, now that I think about it, it might be easier. But it might, it's either going to be easier or harder. If it gets bigger for a longer amount of, I don't know. But you should, we should probably stop at around here. That's okay. Not, okay. Actually, no. Uh, we'll do a tiny, okay. Yeah, we should probably uh, start. Wrapping it up? Yeah, well, I'll just wait until you're as close to done as you think you <laughs> should get. My tape just attacked me. Yeah, so whenever you think you're enough, close enough to done, we'll start wrapping this video up, because I assume you know how to put the okay. scales on. So yeah, just, yeah. Let me get a little point. bit more tape on here. You gonna do one more layer? Um, I'll do until you're done. Do, do as much as you just think Just do one more. Okay. Because I'm just about done, and, and I'm going to, like I said, uh, bend this a little bit more, and then use the wet toilet paper and the, the strength of the tape to, because as you see, it's really crushed in here, and it doesn't look the same dimensions here, but I'll use the tape if it stops sticking to itself to fake it and, okay. and build back the, 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 the shape. Oh, God, oh, 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 that looks awful, oh. And, and like I said, oh. with, with the wet toilet paper and everything else, we can make it look more like the same shape. And also, by putting the scales on it, that will give it back some of its dimensions. And then I'll just hot glue this to the base later. Uh, we're not going to glue this to the base now because putting these scales and, and armor plates on the underside or however we want to twist it 
Uh, if it was glued like this right now and we tried to put the, the, the scales on it, it would not work out very well for us. All right, you think this looks good? Yeah, it, it looks, it, it, you guys, uh, we'll, we'll let the camera get a really good close up of how that's actually, uh, let's, let's do that now. Oh, I'll try to get it. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm basically done here. Yeah, okay, you think uh, this turn, looks turn, good? Turn, turn, turn. It got a bit worse, noticeably worse. There's one little bump, but the no joint, but. If you can see, those scales really actually do look kind of neat. And Especially they, lower down, because by this point they become kind of crap, but like they get bad here, and then they slowly start to get better. But you know, it is a living. Creature. It's still not perfectly even down mm, there. Right, but the the black bomb and the dry brushing. Also, one like thing that. is because we're a bit rushed, uh, not rushed, but um, because we spend a lot more time on each scale here than we did here. Yeah. Because it took us like an hour just to do this, and we did the same amount, but it only took us 20 minutes. Yeah. Not because, partially because we've learned more, but also partially because um, we so just needed to. They which made the quality a bit less because we didn't have enough time to spend, but uh, just take your time. Uh, Be patient. It's going to take yeah. a while. I spent many hours, I was up very late, cutting out these Which, scales. Which, by the way, uh, we might make a video about time management, but uh, <laughs> yeah, again, good. just like the Wong versus Knees thing that I think I might have gave like a slight, like one tip on uh, ahead of time. Um, sometimes it might be better to just like do like maybe one hour before you sleep, but don't go to sleep at like two, <laughs> uh, because then you Guilty can wake up earlier. And, and work more. more in the morning instead. And you won't be as tired. And slugging through the nighttime. Yeah, you'll you won't be as tired and stuff. But there you have it. Well, so again, that's personal experience and. Thank you, DM Scotty. Thank you, Wylock. Your tips are always invaluable. If it wasn't for you guys, we probably would have never made both of these projects. And well, yes. And the, as you can tell, the purple worm turned out great. Uh, I hope Scotty uh, appreciates this one, and I hope you guys also love the. Sea Serpent, when it's done, because it will look at least as good as this, if not better, because it's a much bigger, more ambitious project. And this, also, this I was able actually to do in like an afternoon. And, and I, also maybe because uh, you're better. Yeah. You're yeah. better than you were a year, yeah. over. You're better than you were over a year ago. And I really like this one, so I know I'm going to love this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great Fourth of July. Thanks for stopping by. Um, be safe, be sane, and we will see you guys Sunday for the Kraken cool. video. Yes. Which I am really looking forward to. Thanks again, guys. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out, and we'll see you soon. Uh, yes, and I can't think of anything else to say.